Welcome back to the channel. I'm Ray. Thank you for joining me. All right, guys, check it out. As you can see in front of you, I got another product. I have a Yulanzi U Pad. And guys, just a little disclaimer: people at Yulanzi sent me this complimentary, asked me if I wanted to review it, and I said why not. And guys, just to let you know, as you can see in front of you, I have a couple of Yulanzi product that I bought on my own, and I happen to like them. I have here the Yulanzi iPad Pro, I consider it clamp, what I've been using for my iPad Pro. Also have the Yulanzi cage from my Hero Pro. Both well made, really like it. I did some videos on these two particular products. I'll put a link below or someplace in the description here. If you want to go check those out, I highly advise you. But again, disclaimer, they did send this to me for free for my review. And I'm glad to have it. So guys, this is going to be a pretty much an open boxing. And we're going to open it up and take a look at it. See, is it up to par on what I already have? Please consider like, subscribe. And just again, guys, to let you know, these products will be listed below. Please consider using that affiliate link. It does support this channel. And I greatly appreciate it. So enough of me talking. And let's get into the video. Let's go. Okay, so again, Yulanzi sent me this, and I'm excited to have it. So this is, a, I guess, the new product they just released. It's called the Yulanzi U-Pad number three. I'll put a link, a little screenshot, the Amazon website on description on this. So check that out. And but I'm excited to have it. It looked like there's some improvement. Just to let you know, guys, I use my iPhone, iPad Pro for a lot of my videos. All right, also my hero here. So having good clamps is very important to support your equipment. All right, to keep it stabilized. Let's take a look at this. I believe this is reasonable price. Um, I'm looking at their website. It's about $45, say $46 for it. So I don't think that's a bad price at all. So just let's just open it up and take a look at it. All right, come well packed. All right, here we go. Pretty much like it. Look at it. I like the form fitting. Very well packed. Give you a little brochure on how to utilize it. And what I like about Yulanzi, to tell you the truth, with their, especially with their first one, they support an arc style clamp, which I have. All right. So I think this is a little more superior to the screw down, just in my opinion, when supporting your equipment. And I believe they carried that design to the U Pro. What I call it? The U Pro U Pad. <laughs> So let's get this out of the box. Put this to the side. Yulanzi up their game. I'm gonna tell you, this is my first impression, guys. I just got this. I'm just opening it up. I never had it in my hand before. But to tell you the truth, and what I like about Yulanzi, the quality of built on their materials. It really is. It's nice and sturdy aluminum. And these are uh, between the two versions, as you can see, a lot more shorter. Got a little shorter profile. So now I can use my iPhone to support it so let me let's see how this looks guys oh here it goes all right here's a uh, this little mechanism allows you to expand it oh I like that I definitely like that so I can take my iPhone now get this out of just a little more again guys I'm just using this now and what I like about this it does support it but I think one thing I don't like well it does it does clear the camera so that was my main issue Yulanzi, the first one. You couldn't really support your camera in here because this whole part blocks the back of this. With the U-Pad 3, I can now support my camera. I can do it this way. Again, only thing you, you see, you're blocking the screen, but once you get your shot made out, that's really not a non-issue, at least for me, how I shoot. But if you do want to turn it around, let's see. Again, guys, I'm just uh, bringing this up. Oh, there you go. Yeah, I like that. Again, it does have the art style clamp below, which I like a lot. And what else do we have here? Let me see. Let's see. I like the, the material on it. It's like a rubber mount on it. So if you don't want to use the case, it won't scuff up your phone or your tablet. And here I have a old iPad 
that I just use sometimes to shoot the B-roll. Again, that supports in there. I forget the, uh, how dirty it is. but So again, you guys looking for something a little more slicker, a little more small to the profile, easy to carry, definitely. This is definitely a good look. Let me uh, expand this some more. Again, I just want to see how far this come out. This is with a Mac Mini. You do have room, as you see up here, for a cold shoe, like the first one. There is room for a cold shoe. The only thing here, you can't slip it all the way through. It's stopped by this, which is it's a non-issue. Okay, guys, I just want to do a quick insert about this bracket here. Another thing I just discovered and I didn't realize is that this part here, where I thought it is the hot shoe, and I thought it didn't move, but it does move. I was playing with it, and check this out. Wow. Now you could extend that and no spacing issues when it's come to having a hot shoe mic or whatever you need to put up here. That is a nice design. I didn't realize that when I was initially recording and doing my review. Love that. Love that. Love that. Love that. So I just want to bring that to you. And when you don't need it, you're just going to just slide it in. So just want to point that out, guys. It's something I just discovered. I just definitely wanted to document it. All right, so let's keep it moving. And you have a lock and unlock mechanism. Oh, okay. Guys, yeah, I'm just noticing that. You see how that expands out? I did not know that happened. All right, so that's, see, this is what happens when you don't test it out before you do a video. <laughs> All right? But guys, I want to show you exactly what how I'm experiencing it right now. All right, I'm just going to keep it real. So this is just a quick look at it. I don't know if you guys can tell right off how thick it is, this profile. It's just, it's a much sleeker profile on your iPad and it doesn't bulk out too much. And the weight of it is very light. So I definitely like that. Yeah, go ahead, Yulanzi. All right, definitely, definitely improved on your clamps. So guys, tell me what you think of this. All right, is something you will consider? I am definitely going to be using this a lot more. All right, I, I use this, but I only use it for my iPad Pro. Now seeing this version, and I can tell, tell you the truth, it's definitely a, a weight difference. I don't know the, partic the particulars of it. Make, yeah, yeah, it is. This is definitely a lighter. So if weight is an issue with you, you're definitely going to shed some ounces with this one. And what else can I tell you about it? That's it. I can... I, other than I can tell you, I like it. I really do. And what I do also like about it, you're able to fine tune it to make sure you get a snug to your your device. You check out the video with this one here. You're not once you expand it um, on your device and you clamp it down, you have to you have to come back and push down on this one, tighten it to make sure that device is is snugged in this clamp. So. That was a, a fault of this one. It's something you have to be aware when you're using this device, the first one. But this one here, they make it much easier to make sure you got a tight fit, all right, by adding this knob so you can now just simply turn it, securing your device in the clamp. So I definitely like that improvement. I really do. Guys, uh, again, they're not paying me. They did send this to me free. But tell you the truth, I would have bought this anyway. Okay, guys. As you see, I showed you what I liked about it. And I'm showing you another setup here. Now, I have the Moment case with the ND filter on my my phone, my iPhone 11. Now, again, like I said, I shoot a lot of my videos on my phone. And this is where this design, I think they missed the mark. All right. As you can see, I have my case on. It does fit, but let me show you but <laughs> barely all right it is locked down which i like this front feature help you get it it's not going to move but i just wish it would be able to take a, a lot more real estate of the phone to keep it secure so just uh keep that in mind let me also point out something all right as you can see i have my nd filter on my moment case it does spin all right it's not really being affected but again not an ideal position in my opinion now if i take it down to landscape as you can see which is a lot of time how i shoot again i can take my case hold it up i can adjust if i want to 
and do what I have to do and still see my screen. But again, you really don't like how it's sitting in this case as it sees, as you see it right now. All right. I can work with it like this, but it's not ideal. I really like to have, I would like to utilize the whole mechanism to, to secure that phone. Especially guys, the iPhone 13 just came out and they're talking about that camera being ideal for filmmakers, you know, videographers, YouTubers like us, you know, we want the, you know, to get certain equipment to better our game, to up our game pretty much. So. I think, just in my opinion, this is where this comes short in that that form factor. And again, it is still I'm still gonna utilize it. And then also, I just wish I wish if you guys if you're listening again, I love the clamp, I like design much better than this one. If you can, as you can see, we like to keep our phone in this position. You see how it's sitting over the ball head, and then we can utilize it, but Unfortunately, the way this clamp is designed, it doesn't go any shorter. So you can't utilize it in that form factor, as you can see. As opposed, that's why I, sometimes I end up going back to the plastic cheap one, because I still can get that, my phone within the clamp, my ND filter is, is not obstructed, and you know, and, I, and it'll sit in this clamp as such. If Yulanza can just simply, in my opinion, if you can get this form down to this size, I'm telling you, you I, I think you can sell even a lot more. I love this form factor, but just get it down to this size. Keep everything like you have it, the design, but just cut off a little bit so we can use our iPhone or any type of phone in this position with a nice tripod like this. It's, it'll be a home run. It really would be. So that's the only downfall I see about this clamp. The only. And that's only particular to the iPhone. All right. If you're using the iPad, it's a non-issue. All right. It, it definitely is. You know, using the I, iPad plus the iPad mini, what have you. That's not an issue. Everything is fine. It's as plus such. You have a cage. You can get the ND filter. Yeah, yeah. But a lot of people are not doing that. At least I, I don't think so. You know, I don't have the data, but I'm just thinking most of us are using uh, the iPhone 13, 12, 11, whatever, maybe the pro model, utilizing those cameras. And we want clamps that will fit our phone so we can utilize a moment case and D filters, everything unobstructed from the, from the clamp. So that's all I'm asking for. Other than that. It's fine. It's, it's, it's definitely a beautiful case. I mean, clamp. And I will definitely be using it. All right? I'll definitely be utilizing, utilizing it for my iPad mini and maybe some aspects of my Pro. But having that landscape over the ball head, that's really what I'm looking for. And I'm just waiting for Yulanza to come up with that design. And I think this combination and reduce it to this form factor, come on, give it to me. All right, give it to us. And that's it, guys. All right, so I hope this is helpful for you guys out there. If you're deciding to pick up this brace for your iPad or your iPad phone or whatever have you or your tablet, it is a good look. All right, not perfect. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna get it twisted. It's not perfect, but it's definitely a better look, a better upgrade to this one. If you think I'm, I'm point what I'm pointing out. Let me know in the comments. Please check out those affiliate links. Everything you see here will be listed. So it'll take you right to it. And it does support this channel. And I greatly appreciate it. Guys, enough of me talking. Have a good day. Keep on shooting. Be safe.